Welcome back to Honest News Network. Folks, <clears throat> Copeland, Kenneth Copeland, says that God is the greatest failure. God, the greatest failure. And this is the individual that helped Donald Trump become president. My question is, is why? He believes that God is the greatest failure. I mean, this is heresy, blasphemy. I mean, this is one of the greatest heretics of all time. Um, without question, is a mouth for the serpent. And he wanted Donald Trump to be president. That ought to get your attention. It has, it's gotten my attention. Listen to, listen to Kenneth Copeland's own words for yourself. You know, everybody asks you, say, who's the biggest failure? They say, Judas. Somebody else will say, no, I believe it's Adam. Well, how about the devil? <laughs> he's the most consistent failure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he's not the biggest in terms of material failure and so forth. The biggest one in the whole Bible is God. Mm. Oh, run, run, run. Don't you turn that set off. <laughs> you listen to it. You, I told you now, you sit still a minute. You know me well enough. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell something I can't prove in the Bible. He lost his top-ranking, most anointed angel, the first man he ever created, first woman he ever created, the whole earth and all the fullness therein, a third of the angels at least. That's a big loss, man. I mean, you figure all that, that's a lot of real estate, brother. Gone down the drain. Now, the reason you don't think of God as a failure is he ain't never said he's a failure. <laughs> and you're not a failure till you say you're one. Well, I guess that's why he promoted Donald Trump. Because Donald Trump believes the same thing. You're not a failure until you say you're a failure. The reason God wasn't a failure is because he never said he was a failure. I've never heard such twisted, demonic, vile filthiness. And this is the individual that really spawned and really promoted Donald Trump. He, he was there when they were all praying for Donald Trump. He was praying for him too. And he just said, you're not a failure until you say you're a failure. If that does not sound like Norman Vincent Peale, people, the power of positive thinking, Donald Trump continually no matter how bad it gets, he constantly is positive. But does that mean he's honest? No. What is the idea of being positive but not being honest? Where does that come from? How can you be positive and not be honest? Where does that come from? Kenneth Copeland just said, if you don't admit you're a failure, then you're not a failure. Now, there is a scripture that says, whatsoever man thinketh, so is he. And I'm sure that they use that scripture as their basis too. And you've seen over the years how ministers will take scriptures out of context. Amen? And so it's important to look at the context of that verse. Whatsoever man thinketh in his heart, so he is. But you got to look at the context of that. And we'll do a study on that. We won't do it right now, but we'll do a study on that. We'll look at the context of that verse. But can you see how Kenneth Copeland believes the same way that Donald Trump does? We have an evangelical crowd here that doesn't believe their failures because they won't say their failures. 
They don't believe that they're telling lies because they won't admit they're telling lies. And we've got a president in the White House right now that won't admit when he fails. He won't admit when he's wrong. He won't admit when he's got a small crowd. He won't admit anything that makes him look bad. Anything. Doesn't matter what it is, he won't admit it. If it makes him look bad, if it, if it in any way hinders his agenda or affects his image or mars his image, he won't admit it. And the idea is, if you don't admit it and you don't succumb to it, then you'll never be that. See? Just like even though Lucifer became the devil, as long as he keeps calling himself Lucifer, he's not the devil. And that's what his, uh, that's what his whole plan is. He's trying to sell himself to the world right now as Lucifer. In the Freemasons, that's what they teach. It's taught that Lucifer's the God of the Bible. There is a devil, and the only devil is the one that's between your eyes. And that's what they teach. That's what the Masons teach. But the real God is Lucifer. And we're seeing Lucifer rising right now in the land. And, you know, the Pope is promoting Lucifer. And Kenneth Copeland is pr pr promoting Lucifer as well. And you're going to see Lucifer being promoted more and more and more as the true light. Well, what did Paul the Apostle say? Even Satan, right? He transforms himself into an angel of light. Right? Well, this is one of Satan's ministers that transforms himself into a minister of righteousness, right here, what you're looking at. And he promoted and voted for Donald Trump. Now, I hope, folks, you're seeing the bigger picture here now. Because the idea is if you don't admit that you're wrong, you're not wrong. That's the new religion that's taking over the earth. If you don't admit that you have sinned, then you haven't sinned. In other words, if you don't succumb to it, no matter what you do, as long as you don't say that you've done it, I mean, that is the epitome to me. That is the epitome of stubbornness. That's the epitome of rebellion. But can you just think of anything more stubborn than to say you're right when you're wrong? That is the sin of witchcraft. So how did Donald Trump become president? Witchcraft, people. Jezebel. Witchcraft. That's how he became president of this corporation.